Welcome in. I am the crypto bull god. And in today's video, what we're going to do is discuss realistic expectations in terms of where I see price appreciating to in the coming summer months, in particular June and July, for Casper Labs. If you appreciate the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, drop me a comment for support. You gotta click the bell icon for notifications to go when I go live. I've been going live every single weekday doing daily TA content. All in the charts is the live stream, so you wanna make sure you're subscribed to the channel and know when I go live. You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on YouTube, you can even find me on Instagram and TradingView. One word, it's right here, whoop, Crypto Bull God. Just a quick disclosure that none of what I'm sharing is financial advice. I'm simply looking to educate and to help others through sound technical analysis. Hopefully all of us are big boys and big girls. We can make our own personal financial decisions. So with that being said, let's get into it. This is Casper, ticker symbol CSPR on the three day chart. Let's talk about what's going on here in the shorter term. Now you can see down here we were consolidating around 3.8 cents, this area of price confluence. We broke above it, we shattered that area, and we went all the way as high as 6.4 cents. We perfectly touched an area of price confluence that I had prior uh, identified. We've since come down and now what are we doing? We're doing something very similar, okay? We're consolidating around 4.8 cents. Now the basic thing that you wanna keep in mind in any chart to understand if there's a healthy trend going on from a bullish perspective, are we building higher highs and higher lows, right? You can see the higher lows, right? You see how the higher lows are coming in? You can also see the higher highs, right? You see how the higher highs are coming in. So these basic building blocks of a bullish narrative, which are higher highs and higher lows, are very evident on this chart. As far as the price indicators, what we wanna see is we wanna see the MACD, okay? We wanna see the MACD on the three day begin to flatten, okay? And begin to curl up again. We're already above zero. It's very bullish, uh, even though we've had a negative cross on the MACD, it's very bullish to see that the MACD itself is above the zero trigger line. So all we wanna do now is we just want that thing to flatten out and curl back up. Stochastic RSI, okay, momentum has sort of bled out in this thing since we had that monumental run up, okay? Wouldn't call it monumental, but a, a, a um, moderate surge up in price is what I would say. Well, since then, since we've been consolidating, the stochastic RSI under 20 is telling us, okay, momentum has sort of died off for the time being. So really what we want is we want the relative strength index and we want the stochastic RSI to tell us strength is beginning to resume in the chart. And the way you can tell that is once this stochastic RSI, okay, it gets above this 20 trigger line, you can see the last time it did it here, big surge in price. The last time we did it here, big surge in price. So we want this thing to cross positive and get above 20. Our size at a pretty healthy level. We're just at about, we're just under 50, okay? Key areas of resistance, you can see that I've identified here in the shorter term. Uh, you can see I've identified this 4.84 cent area, 5.6, 6.4, and 7.5. The other thing that you wanna keep an eye on if you are charting this, okay? There is a downward area of resistance. So we, we wanna make sure, uh, another thing we wanna look for to ensure that there's strength building within this chart, we wanna break this downward resistance and we wanna continue up, ultimately breaking the 6.4 cent area. But let's talk about realistic expectations and what I see forming in this chart, which is very, very, very bullish and what my expectations are for this coming summer. This is a rounding bottom. Now, if you examine a lot of crypto charts and you geek out like I do and you spend a relentless amount of time charting, you will see similar patterns playing out in other projects. Other projects right now have been demonstrating a rounding bottom. And if I am correct in my assertion that Bitcoin is going to hit new all-time highs this year, at some point, these crypto assets are going to enter a massive parabolic movement, just like Bitcoin will, okay? And that's basically what I'm demonstrating here. And I'm showing the general direction of what I'm expecting. Don't zone in on the exact time frame. Just zone in on the fact that in general, 
I'm expecting this to follow a massive rounding bottom shape. And at which point, at some point, when it has its blow off top, we're just going to go vertical. And that's at which point, once we have that blow off top, that's when we'll have a massive correction uh, going into next year. That's my view. So the question is, where could we realistically assume prices to get to in the summer months, come say June, July, okay? We're sitting at around four point right now, 4.7 cents, okay? I have identified three horizontal gray areas that I think are very reasonable in terms of if I'm correct, the other thing, and you would catch this on the daily live stream, if you're clicking the bell icon for notifications to know when I go live, one of the things I've hit on uh, very consistently the past several days, is that I am anticipating June to be a very bullish month for crypto. And if I am correct in that hypothesis, then a lot of this price movement could take place potentially during the month of June. I've identified three key horizontal areas that I'm watching for. The first area is 11 cents. The second area, and we use real round figures on this channel, we keep it stupid simple, okay? 11 cents, 19 cents, and 24 cents. I think it is possible to go as high this summer as 24 cents before cooling off and having a substantial correction, healthy correction, okay? Because it's all about the higher highs and higher lows until we uh, continue forward. But the main zone I'm watching for, if I had to give you my realistic view, I'm looking for anywhere between 11 to 9 cents, okay? That's my main area. And then we may wick as high. We may wick as high as 24 cents. That is my expectation for this coming summer. Again, all the way as high as 19 cents, potentially 24 cents until we see some sort of a considerable healthy correction. Because again, this is all about creating higher highs and higher lows, right? A low, a higher low, a higher low. If we come down to this area and correct, it's a higher low, right? And all the meanwhile, we're building these higher highs, right? These, again, are the basic building blocks of a bullish narrative. So I do anticipate for Casper Labs for it to hit somewhere between 11 cents and 24 cents, but I'm really targeting somewhere around 19 to 24. Um, that would be an incredible price target to hit uh, by the summer months. So we'll have to see if, if this plays out. We'll, we'll come back to this video and see if it has, as they say, aged well. If you appreciate the content, Make sure, again, to show your support. Give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment. Share this video with at least one person. Subscribe to the channel so that you know when I go live every single weekday. And until next time, spread awareness, and let's carry the education forward. So what you gonna do, God dollar, or crypto or God, and his crypto maniacs, and the entire cryptocurrency market run wild? Oh,